hello guys welcome to my youtube channel and i'm back again with another tutorial and in this video we are looking at this uh, landing page for a sports event so we have a cool hover animation here and when we click on this the entire animation kicks in the, uh, the new content loads up the new content is shown here so we will learn how to do that along with that there is also an, uh, an animation and this blue background goes to the right and when the page loads for the first time so we will also learn how to do that now in this video uh, first of all let me show you again when you click on it uh, the button changes and the background and then our main content is shown so in this video i am again using anime.js you can head on to this uh, link i will leave the link in the description you can use npm to install it or you can manually download it and if you don't want to do any of this then simply go to the description i will leave the initial project setup for you you can download the files project files in which there will be the anime.min.js file so without wasting any time let's get started so this is the initial setup file uh, i have here is my index.html file and i have linked together my css file and here is my main.js javascript file and then I also have my anime.min.js file here. So uh, I will leave the link for the project file. And here is our image. So now what we want to do is create a new section. And inside this section, uh, we'll first have our navigation bar. So for navigation, I am giving this a title using S2 tag and naming it sports. And then we have our social links. So for this, I'm using simply text. You can use images, icons, whatever you want. So for Facebook, then for Instagram, then for Twitter. And now we will have our content. So I'm giving this a class name of container. And inside this, we will create, create another div. And let's give this an ID of cover. And this cover is basically the blue background which goes to the right, this one. So I'm naming it cover. And then I'll create another div with a class name of sports, which is basically contain our images and the text that we have. So inside this, I'll create another div with a class name of background, which is the this one, blue background in the back. So uh, then we will have the text, which says, I'll give this a class of name, uh, which says sports event, and then uh, break line. And then inside span, I will write 2019 because we want to write it in an outline manner. So next we have our image, the basketball player. I'm giving this a class name of player. And SRC image slash basket. You can also find the image in the link in the description. And then I'm creating another div for the details. And inside this we will have a, a tag, anchor tag. And given this a class name of button and it will simply say detail so maybe we don't need that class name so this is what uh, we have written the HTML for and next thing is the bottom container which will show up when we click on the button so I'm giving this a class name of container too now inside this first we will have a blue background blue bg i'm giving this a class name and by blue bg i mean this uh, blue background which goes up first time and then inside this we'll have our event details so i'm giving this a class name of event details and our text event details so i don't think it should be a div it should be an h1 tag and we will wrap it in another div so for that div i will give this a class name of main content and then we'll also have our card main card content so let's give this a name card content inside this i'm simply giving this a title you can replace it whatever you want and then a description so this is the description so that's it for the HTML part. Let's have a look how it looks so far. So here it is. Here we have our navigation, our main content. 
and then in the bottom we have the second section so now let's add some styling to this so head on to our main.css file and write some css so i'll start off by giving every element a padding of zero and a margin of zero and then for our section i'm giving this a height of 100 of the viewport height and a width of 100 percent and also a background of uh, background color of 242424 which is a slight black color and i will set its overflow to hidden so everything that goes outside of this container will be hidden and for all i'm also using a font family of montserrat now have a look yes now let's target our nav so the nav i give this a width of 100 percent and a display of flex and i'm justifying content with the space between and the color should be white of the text and giving this a padding of 10 px and 20 pixels and position should be fixed now we have to fix uh, the social links so for that i will target them so first of all let's target our heading so i'm giving this a padding of 10 pixels and then our links so for them i'm using display of inline and also giving them a margin right of 40 pixels now they should be on their place then that look good let me add some more space now let's target our container and yeah, also i'm giving this a height of 100 percent and a width of 100 percent and again display flex justifying content center and align item center so everything will be in the center of the screen now set its overflow to hidden again now it's completely in center but because the image is too large we have to adjust it appropriately now let's add styling for the cover so set its position to absolute and top zero width of 100 percent and height of 100 percent and give this a background color and i'm transforming it so that it's look like a parallel logo so here we go now for now i will also set its left property to minus 110 percent so it does not block our view we will fix it later now let's target the sports so for sports section i'm giving this a position of relative and display again flex and again to center them and flex direction i'm using column now let's target our background so for background let's give this a height of 400 pixels and a width of suppose 350 pixels and given this as an z index of one and also given this a background of the blue color that we are using so currently we are not able to see this because of our image so let's resize the image so for that i will target the player and give this position absolute again and a height of 400 pixels and z index should be three this time and from right we will shift it by minus 25 percent so now it's look good now let's target the text so for that i will target dot name and again set its position to absolute and give this a z index of 2 and font weight should be bold there because we want the text to be bold and its color should be white and for font size i'm uh, giving this 54 pixels and from top it should be 50 pixels and from left should be minus 15 percent so let's have a look this good now let's target 2019 because we want it to be outlined so for that i will target the span and give this a color of transparent and a big text stroke of one pixels and color of white which is has FFF. Now it looks good. Now let's uh, add styling for the details. So for
record details and given the position of the attribute, the background of white and z index of 4 so it's always on the top and the padding of 18 pixels is 70 pixels and font weight again should be bolder and from top I am given this 290 pixels and from right uh, minus 20 percent its cursor should be white uh, sorry its cursor should be a pointer and I am also transforming its origin to top left so that when we animate it it gets animated from the top and now let's target the anchor tag we have in our details so what we want is to change its color from black to white when we hover on it so let's do that and when we hover the details we want the anchor tag color to be changed to white so I will change its color to white and also add transition property so it takes 0.7 second to uh, change its color now I am going to add the red color border which uh, let me show you and then the let me refresh it there is a border bottom of red which covers the entire detail button when you hover on it so let's do that so for that I am giving the details and after property and in, inside this I am giving this a content empty content but the width of 100% and for the background I am using a color code of E13852 which is a reddish color and display of block position absolute and height 4 pixels and from left it should be 0 from bottom it should be 0 and uh, what next let's also add the z index of minus 1 and a transition property on it also so it will take 0.7 second to cover this key right now as you can see only the hover effect for uh, the color of the anchor is changing so let's add the hover effect and on hovering we will change the after contents height to 100 percent now let's have a look yep it looks perfectly fine so now we will add the styling for the bottom part uh, let me show you the blue background then the grayish background the event details and the card so let's add styling for that so first of all uh, let's target the container tool and give this a width and height of 100 percent set its display to flex so that again we are able to center it properly justify content center and align items or maybe we don't need that here uh, let's see uh, set its position to relative and for the blue background again I'm given this a width and height of 100% and position absolute from top it should be 0 and its background should be the bluish background that we have been using so far now let's target the main content again its width and height should be 100% and position should be absolute and from top it should be zero but this time the background will be the grayish color that we have been using so change it to 242424 and here we want to set the display flex and align item center and for this we can justify content also center and a flex direction of column so now uh, we cannot see the changes here because we have set overflow to hidden so this is what the event details should look like so we didn't need it we justify content so for event details I am giving this a color of white and a font size of 100 pixels and um, let's add a letter spacing of 5 pixels and opacity of 0 0.5 and from padding give this a top padding of 40 pixels now let's add this styling for our card content this is the card content so I am giving this a width of 70% and a border top of 5 pixels solid and the red color which is E13852 
and I'm giving this a border top right radius of 10 pixels and similarly we need a border top right radius 10 pixels and give this a background of white also add a little padding of 50 pixels and uh, if I were to set it side to 100% and change the font color to the uh, bluish color now inside the card content we have our title and the description so let's also give them a little padding 10 pixels and 0 pixels so let's have a look we cannot see the changes here as it's the overflow is hidden but uh, uh, it must have been applied successfully so that's it for this video in next video we will start animating things uh, the hover animation and when we click on the animation as well as when the page refreshes the animation that is shown so don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and also press the bell icon and i will see you in the next video take care